Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a healthy hotel style veg kurma recipe. A perfect side dish with pulao, roti or with plain rice. So let's get started with the recipe. Into a small katori, I'm adding in 1 teaspoon couscous, also known as white poppy seeds. I'm adding in some water. Into this, I'm adding in 10 golden raisins and I'm allowing them both to get soaked. So I'm going to keep this aside. The spices I'm using are half teaspoon fennel seeds, also known as somph, three cardamoms lightly crushed, a star anise, one stick cinnamon and six cloves. I'm heating my cast iron pan with one and a half tablespoon wood pressed coconut oil. Instead of wood pressed coconut oil, you can also use wood pressed groundnut oil or even a two desi ghee. Once the oil is heated, I'm adding in the spices. I'm crushing the cinnamon stick and adding in. Add in one medium sized onion finely chopped, three slit green chilies, four cloves of garlic, one fourth inch ginger finely chopped, one sprig of fresh curry leaves. And I'm giving this all a good mix. I'm using a heavy bottomed cast iron pan which retains more heat. Hence, I'm going to reduce the flame to the lowest and allow the onions to get transparent or light pink in color. Once the onions start to turn transparent or light pink in color, I'm adding in half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon Kashmiri chili powder, half teaspoon coriander powder and give it all a good mix. Allow the masalas to get lightly roasted so that the raw flavor of the masalas are diminished. After about a minute, I'm adding in one tomato chopped. Give it a good stir. Add in half cup fresh green peas. Instead of fresh green peas, you can also use frozen green peas. Half cup cauliflower chopped. Half cup or half of a capsicum chopped. 10 to 12 beans or half cup beans chopped, one medium sized carrot or half cup carrot chopped, pink Himalayan salt as needed. Give this a good mix. Allow the vegetables to saute for at least two to three minutes on low flame. Keep stirring on and off. After two to three minutes, add in three fourth cup water. Give it a good mix, cover and allow the vegetables to get cooked. While the vegetables are getting cooked, let's make the kurma masala. Into my small chutney grinder, I am adding in 3 fourth cup freshly grated coconut, half teaspoon fennel seeds, the soaked couscous and the raisins. Now the reason why I am adding raisins to the kurma masala is to help give the curry a subtle sweetness. Into it I am adding in the couscous and the soaked raisins. I am adding in little water and washing down the couscous into the chutney grinder. Add in a total of half cup of water or enough water to help it grind it into a smooth paste. The kurma masala is nicely ground and is ready. A few tips I would like to give at this moment is if you don't have raisins at hand, you can use one dates instead. If the dates you are using is not soft, you may need to soak the dates along with the poppy seeds. If you don't have a poppy seeds or cuscus at hand, you can use 10 soaked cashew nuts instead. Let's check on the vegetables. Okay, now the vegetables are nicely cooked. At this moment, you can check salt. If you feel you need more salt, you can add in. Into this, I am adding in the kurma masala. I have added one fourth cup of water into the chutney grinder and washing down the residue into the pan. One third teaspoon garam masala and give it a good mix. I like my kurma to be slightly on the thicker side. However, if you want to thin it out, you can add in some extra water. I'm going to cover it for about 30 seconds or so and then I'm going to turn off the flame. 30 seconds later, open the lid, turn off the flame, give it a good stir. 
Sprinkle some chopped coriander leaves. Cover and let it sit like this for about three to five minutes. Three to five minutes later, open the lid, give it a quick stir. And serve the kurma onto a bowl. You can enjoy the veg kurma with the pulao, roti or even with plain rice. So guys do try this healthy veg kurma recipe and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.